Well hello, a bit of a somber video this time because it talks about ageing and how it affects us. I have just turned 48 last month. I mean, can you believe it? This face, 48, that's practically old. And it seems it's not just me. If I have a look at my Google Analytics, there are a whole bunch of us between, well, the main viewership is between 35 and 44, but there's a whole bunch of you in the 45 to 54 as well. And uh, it looks like the majority of you are from the US. Howdy over there. So why is this a problem? Well, aside from your body almost shutting down after the age of 30 and things just breaking, I have found a, a problem in my vision. I've noticed it because I kept making a bunch of really silly mistakes when I've been soldering stuff. And, you know, I'm no expert soldier, but I'm not, I'm not that bad where I, I keep cocking stuff up. But I have been recently and I was like, what, why is this? And it's to do with how age affects your vision, basically. So I've been short-sighted all my life, and it's like a minus six point something prescription. But as you get older, your eyes become longer sighted. And I thought, oh, brilliant, it's gonna cancel out, and I'm gonna have perfect vision. No, that's not what it means, unfortunately. For me, it means where I was able to get a piece of paper with writing on and be able to read it with my glasses from here to here. Now, because of the long sightedness, it goes out of focus about here, and then I, if I peer over the top of my glasses, I can see it from like here, and then it goes out of focus there, which gives me this really strange focal length. And um, I'm, I'm not succumbing to the idea of very focals or bifocals, because that would really mean I, I've succumbed to age. You, you will see this manifest itself. If you've ever seen me look at a quad lately and um, read out the motor KV, I'm often saying, this is a 1105, 7000 KV, and that sort of thing. And this has happened with my soldering as well. So soldering wise, if I'm sort of distance about here, and obviously I'd be down on the desk, so I'm, I'm trying to demonstrate. I'd, I'd want to be about this far away, but I haven't got clear vision on my glasses. So what I end up doing is bringing myself closer to it, and then I go out of focus, and then I have to do this. So I'm ending up this close to something, which isn't that healthy, and I'm, sort of blocking out my own light because I'm so close to it and and that I think has been causing my mistakes. So what to do? Uh, a friend of mine was kind enough to, to get me one of these and these sort of lock onto your desk like this and the idea is you can solder in front. I had a problem here that that the field of view was limited and it, it felt like there was some disconnect between my hands and myself and trying to get the, the distance just right. I was, I was having real trouble with, so that didn't work for me. So my solution is I went onto Banggood's website and I looked for these sort of goggle type things. The idea is having something I could keep my glasses on and I could wear some sort of visor that would magnify and see if I could see clearer. It was a real problem because there were loads and loads of these very similar things all over the site and there were various reviews about things. In the end, I decided to plant for one. And it's this one here and it hasn't got a particular name. I'll have a link down below if you want to check it out as well. But the reason I got this one um, is it because it had actual documentation about how far away you had to be for the magnification to work. So you can't just sort of sit back anywhere and have like a two times magnification. It has again a focal range and I kind of worked out I would like to be about this far away from my soldering and then I looked at the list and found there were the the right lenses would magnify the right amount of time. Also, it had a built-in light, so I wouldn't be blocking the light, I'd be able to shine some extra on it. So I'll show you what you get with this. In the box, you have some instructions. You did have some batteries there, they're already installed. You've got this little box of lenses, and you've got this headband thing. So as I said, I've already installed the batteries because I've been using this uh, a few weeks, so I wanted to find out if it was gonna help me, and it has done. Um, Basically, you've got this little light at the front here, which will illuminate what you're soldering. And then you've got these two inserts for the lenses. And how it works, you've got your list of lenses here, and you've got uh, three and a half times, two and a half times, two times, 1.5, and one. And you've got two of them because you combine lenses to make um, a sort of bigger magnification. But for me, in soldering, I found that the, the two and the two and a half is about what I need because basically it's just bringing me into focus at the, the right area. And you just crack one of these in there, loosen off this bit, 
stick it on your head like that. You can flip it up when you're not working with it. And when you are working with it, what I find is I've then got a lovely close-up view about this far away, which is the right amount of space. And of course I can then flick the light on if I'm looking downwards, nothing's blocking me, and I'm able to work quite nicely. As a bonus, you can just turn up with your family looking really ridiculous, which is always good. Now I think the difference is with this one is that I don't feel like I'm looking through sort of a small magnifying glass. It, everything's sort of in context and I can easily go out and back into the magnification when I want to um, and easily work there. So for me this has been working really well. I've, I've got this about um, a month ago and I've been using it every time I solder and I haven't had any cock-ups. I've been able to get myself in the right position. I'm not trying to squeeze myself into some awkward place. Um, and I've been able to work on stuff uh, and do little small bits of soldering um, and basically not mess things up. So these are working for me. So I wanted to um, talk about these things just in case you guys in my age range were suffering the same. Now, probably uh, a lot of you are a lot more sensible and already have something like this or can work with a magnification tool. If you have, brilliant, well done. You're well ahead of the game. If you haven't, have a consider. If you're finding it difficult because you're finding that your focal length is tricky, try something like this. It's really helped me. Um, hopefully it can help you. But if you guys um, that are suffering the same thing have any other particular tips that I may not have thought of, which is working for you, please stick them down below because I would like to know if there's anything else that makes life easier for you. Um, that's, that's made my life good, but if there's something simple and easy, then let me know what it is. Anyway, that's my video today. This isn't a review product or anything, but I found it quite useful, so I thought I'd talk about it. There's still going to be a link down below, of course. If you're some young 20-something with perfect 2020 vision, then, you know, enjoy that while it lasts. But, you know, get to 40 and see how your bones hurt all the time and you go, oh, every time you stand up. You have that to look forward to. Then I'll be laughing. Anyway, hope that's been helpful. I'll catch you next one. Bye for now. Well, you've made it to the end of the video, so thanks once again for watching. If you like what you saw, then please consider subscribing. And if you really like what you saw, then be sure to check out the link to my blog for a variety of ways in which you can help support this channel.